I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. finals week but I finished my class of the last week so yeah this morning we are just dropping off our books for fall semester I can't wait to see what my grades are so um I just want to talk really quick about next semester so next semester I will be taking five class but technically it's just <clears throat> but technically, it's just four classes because I'm taking two science classes, the regular science, which is biology of women, and then I'm taking um, the human bio lab. So technically, that's like one class because I get three credits from um, biology of women and one credit coming from the lab class. So even though I am taking technically five classes, technically it's really just four classes. 
So I have my two science classes, the actual class and the lab, and then I'm taking interpersonal communication next semester. Um, I will also be taking intro to art, which is online, and what's my other class that I'm taking? Oh, intro to sociology. I really want to take soc, so I'm excited about that. So those are my classes for next semester, spring semester. Out of those five classes, only two I'm taking on campus, which is the interpersonal communications class, um, Tuesday, Thursday, and then my science science lab class I'm taking on um, Fridays. So I'll be going to school three days a week this time, and only being able, being able to work two days a week, which is okay with me. I am sure I'll be able to balance it for five, four or five months of the semester because then I'll be working all summer anyway. So whatever money I lose, I will be getting back. Those are my two on-campus classes. So my online class is sociology, art, and my science class. So yeah, that's what spring semester is looking like. Hi guys, so I just made it back home. I'm waiting for my boyfriend to get here so we can go run some errands. I dropped off my books at school. Um, to sell them back to the school. I had six books, only one book um, they weren't currently taking. So, um, so technically I guess that's my book now or if I wanna donate it to Goodwill or something. My friend, I actually gave it to my friend because she wants to read it, because it's a pretty good book. But I got money, which I, I don't know why I wasn't expecting that. I guess, like, I technically didn't pay, like, my FAFSA, my financial aid paid for my books, um, so I don't know, I wasn't expecting to get money back, I don't know, but I forgot how much she said this was, so I'm just gonna count it really quick, so, 15, 116, and, so yeah, I got 116 dollars back from my books, which I was like, oh, Wow, okay. So, now the thing is, what am I going to do with this money? I don't want to just spend it. I kind of want to just put it in my savings, like my normal savings. But then I'm like, eh. I don't know, I feel like I should put this with my school money. Well, I don't really have school money. But, like, I have a whole, like, checking account for, like, school refunds from, um, like, financial aid refunds because they didn't the school didn't give you another option other than that so I had to make one of those to get my refund from the school and I um, took that out I put it in my um, my normal savings so I'm thinking do I just the, like if I ever get money from school should I just keep it in there or I don't know I don't want to spend it. I don't want to put it in my savings, like just to leave it there, not even spend it, just leave it.